Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play Total War Warhammer with no fair fights and tips and tricks with the Empire. Tip number one, if you play the Empire, take half fronts. Why? Because yes, Balthasar Gelg is a great mage and yes, magic looks awesome. And magic, magic is a lot more safer than in the tabletop game. You cannot blow up your mage and all surrounding units if you miscast, but you're also not killing as many people in Total War Warhammer as you would in Total uh, in Warhammer Fantasy tabletop game. And besides that, the main source of havoc amongst your lines in the beginning is the enemy lord. He's the toughest one to kill and he's just ripping off the hats of your normal units easily. Balthasar Geld can do nothing about that, Karl Franz can, because he's a melee fighter himself. Although he's a dualist, he is able to stand in the middle of a bloody fight against normal units and an enemy hero and take the enemy hero out. Furthermore, yes, if you take Balthasar Geld, you will get the mortar, which will give you the initiative in the battle because the enemy will have to attack you since they don't have a mortar and you do. So that's now it's nice, yes, and it is, but it makes it a little bit uncomfortable because the enemy will be charging you from the first second and you can do nothing else but defend yourself. You cannot maneuver around a lot because the enemy will be as fast as he can into melee with you to save himself from the mortar shells. So the mortar is not killing a lot of people and is actually forcing you to fight immediately for your life. The great swords, also they sound great and they have great swords. They're humans. Never forget you're playing in a world with ogres and trolls and dragons and chaos chosen warriors who look like elementals from Battletech. These guys might be good for human standards, but they're just humans. So, uh-uh, not your first choice and not your second. The Outriders, moving guys with guns. I always say don't do two things at a time. Either you ride cavalry or you shoot, but don't do both, because you'll be good at neither of those. And so are the outriders. Yes, they shoot armor piercing, but there are only 45 of them, and they're quite fragile. And while they can do vanguard deployment, they're not the cavalry you need, because the main job of cavalry is to pursue the fleeing foe, ride him down, and take him out of combat. With the Emperor, we'll get real knights, real hand gunners, and halberdiers who are good at killing monsters. Well, no, because if you come to a monster, don't use halberdiers. Use cannons, use hand gunners. No halberdiers, trust me. Those guys are humans, and while they are the best at fighting monsters, they're not good at fighting monsters. So, without any further ado, and the first tip was the Lord and not the mage, let's go in and find out more. And here we are with tip number two. I've just started and as you can see I have only one guy Summon the Elector Count! So, the first thing I do is I buy another hero. When you're playing the Empire you only have generals, there are no other types. In, if you're playing orcs for example you get goblin shamans or goblin warlords or orc warlords or orc shamans. Here you only get generals. But look at their special abilities, because some of them are really, really good. For example, this one here will give us public order plus one, which is this excellent. This will bolster the nation. If we take off the taxes as well, we get plus three public order, and public order is pretty good. Yes, tax income is nice, but let's be honest, money is not our problem, public order is. Furthermore, yes, my lord. this guy By here, Sigma's right. can do more than that if you're the Emperor. Normally you would pay 2,000 gold for your rally field, right? Now watch this. You take Edgar Huldorf, put him here, and Who calls? look at this. 1,800. So you're basically getting a little bit of the money back. Isn't that great? I will and marshal of course, the band. he can follow your hero and add his fighting power um, to your battles. I well, am not in the Prince first and Emperor! Him when you just recruited him, but at least he is useful for something. Let's go into our first fight and try to get another tip. Fight for our nation! We are fighting the Empire. That's a joke because we are the Empire. And here we are. 
As we don't have a mortar, we will have the problem of being unable to force the enemy towards us. So what we will actually do is, we will try to get Karl Franz into Knights. battle with the enemy lord and our other units yes, into General. something else, or into Swordsman. battle with something else. The so let's place yours. them here, place Miss those guys Blank. on the line. And him here. Well, we can put one here just in case. So, nicely done, sir. And we start the battle. We will immediately advance with our Lord and our ranged fighters. We'll send our cavalry off the hill, on top of the hill, because um, the point is. The enemy will use his spearmen to shield his forces from uh, the horsemen as long as he can. But as soon as fighting assure, um, assures, the enemy will need all his forces to fight. And then the cavalry is ready to strike. Furthermore, here comes tip number three, I think it is now. Um, no, it's actually four, because first one take a lord, second was immediately buy, buy a hero and reload if possible, because it's random what these heroes can do. And number three is make him an officer to spare, save some money. And now number four is you only want to fight an enemy lord with your lord, because these lords can really, really, really do a lot of damage. So you don't want to engage enemy heroes with anything else than your own hero. Never do that. That is very, very foolish. Soldiers of the Empire. Tip number five. You want to engage the enemy in Go the middle Franz, of the field. Call. Why? Because Formation then the enemy has a longer way to run for the entrance or for the exit. Better so to say, if he's fleeing. And now you say, Boris, why are you thinking about the enemy fleeing? Well, that's the whole point of Quick fighting. March. If you don't expect to win, don't fight. But if you fight, make sure that you can destroy the enemy as completely as you can, because if it's not a siege battle, all you will achieve is that Bright the enemy gathers knights. some miles Formation away from march. the first fighting point and will attack no you lingering. again, or you will have to hunt him down, which is actually quite annoying. Taking position. So we Two want battle. the enemy in the middle what? of the field. Here, all the deers a little bit back. So how far can this guy shoot? I hope we're not going too far. I will not stand idle. No, and gunners, go! And uh, these guys will stand a little ready. bit back. And you are making me quakes. nervous with all your movement. Can I force you a Bright little Scott bit Knights. more, Kent? But I can move my normal Ready forces for a little bit closer. So, of course, they're waiting that I do a final mistake, which I have no intention of doing. For the Empire. I will go a little bit forward with my hero to tease them. To battle! They're already shooting because as soon as they're we able to shoot, light. they will no do so. Lingering. And that will result in them the charging. Have at them. We march to war. Formation, march. As you can see, now they're firing. Tell these and now they will try to get after it. Quick march. Now we strike. Hopefully. Take the ground. No, they're not that dumb this time. But I've got a shield. They will not do a lot of damage. And they're not firing armor pierce ring, so that's not my, not my real problem. Go! Ready! Let's go a little bit more forward. Die, traitor! No lingering! A little bit. Where are the rest of the forces? They're close by. Okay, we must do something to get their attention. speed! This will make yes, you sir. a little Quickly. bit more suitable. Ah, now they're coming. 
exit. Quick march! At speed! Oh, 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 don't do this, don't do this. That is very, very unnice. To battle! Crossbows ready, General! No lingering! Let's get a little bit closer to them. speed! Yes, General! Taking position! Reichsguard Knights! Yes, sir, quickly! Well, I'm armored, so... Not that much will happen. Formation march! And you see we're scaring off some of their... Ah, now they're coming back. Excellent. Okay. Let's see what they do. Why are you still hunting me? No, you're not. That's very unnice of you. Sadly, my hand gunners don't have the range to do what is necessary. And of course, I don't want to have a fight between their crossbowmen and my crossbowmen. We could charge them the moment they're not not ready to to answer my charge, I guess because they're moving themselves. There's an oh no 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 they they oh no no they are no they are. Get up the hills, get up the hills. And you shoot them. Will they follow? That's the question. That would be nice if they would follow. But I don't think they are. They're not buying it. I think we have to advance a little with our hero. Make him hang a target. Trying to get them a little bit more. Are we firing? Yes, we are. Excellent. At least that works. And they're repositioning. And so they're taking their first losses, hopefully. Yes, they are. Nice. The enemy is no longer coming, so we're turning back to get them. Hopefully they will not be able to react in time. So, oh, they, they're firing at our guys and we're firing at them. That is not what I wanted, of course. Oh, they're firing at my lord, that's okay. Because as long as they're firing on my lords, um, they will not do a lot of damage because he's got a shield. The enemy has reacted again, trying to turn again on my cavalry, but that's okay. I can lose one or two cavalry, that's not the problem, because they will be replenished. However, uh, their ranged fighters will not be replenished that easily. And they are the main concern. Yeah, good things take time. That's... That is so. So with going back and forth with our cavalry, we're actually teasing the enemy. And they're losing troops. Not as much, not as many as we want, but enough. As soon as this guy's turn, we'll attack them again. Are you still charging? Try to keep an eye on the field. They're still staying, that's okay. Hmm, maybe I should move a 
little further just to be sure. Oh, they're already wavering. Question is, whom will they shoot? Will they shoot our lord? No, they're done. Okay, the enemy is fleeing, that's good. That will leave us with another choice of shooting his hero. Good. If we're really lucky, we can charge down his ranged fighters. This guy has a shield, so he will not take that much damage. I know that. Where is my cavalry? Question is, are they reforming or not? Okay, get that guy. Excellent. Yeah, I'm being shot off, but I can live with that. Important thing is that our uh, hero engages the enemy hero. That's the most important part of the entire fun game here. Because if they do anything else than that, we're in big trouble. So, good thing, because this spearmen were trying to come to the aid of the um, Oh, yes. Uh, no, 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 no. You will move here. And you will run for it. And you will move here out of the way. And you will go for that guy. Can you do that for me, sir? Good thinking. Shoot him. Shoot them. Okay. Attack those guys, and you all will attack this guy. And Karl Franz will do his job. Don't don't fear for Karl Franz. Karl Franz is totally able to do his job. So they're running them down. That's nice. That's all they have to do. Get out of the way of the. Spearmen, if you so please. So, um, where do I want you? I actually want you here. How many of the enemy ranged fighters are left? Not a lot. Go there. So the enemy lord is nearly dead. The enemy guys are nearly destroyed. Yeah, Karl Franz is taking damage, but he can do it. He can do it. Important part is that we keep our lord away, uh, that we keep our guys away from their lord. doing a good job here we don't have to worry about that you will shoot those guys excellent 
actually, you can shoot this guys here. Good, the important player must, must do something to kill the enemy lord because I cannot allow the enemy lord to get away. That would be really, really bad. So you engage those. We're still losing a lot of halberdiers though. Well, halberdiers are not that good, sadly. Please kill the enemy lord, that would be very nice. How are you doing with the enemy crossbowmen? You're still right trying to run them down. But they're not dying as they're supposed to do. Great. Is it that hard to kill crossbowmen? Hard to believe that is. They will be breaking us soon. Kalfranz has been only killed 36 people so far. That's not a lot. Shoot that guy. Oh. That was far too early when they broke. down to six but I must concentrate on the enemy lord the enemy lord must be killed under all circumstances it's sad because now this guys will get away and that at full strength there is nothing I can do about that is there because I don't have enough cavalry He's hunting those guys down, that is good because perhaps he can catch them kills. Uh, six of them are still alive. How far is he away from the edge of the map? Ooh, ooh, this will be hard. This will be really hard. Move it and move it fast, so we're losing a lot of things here. You are no more help. Car fronts. Oh, Car fronts is losing life points because he's shot in the back. Obviously. Car fronts. Kill those people, okay? the cavalry can they catch the guy that's the that's the biggest question can they catch the guy and kill him before he reaches the edge of the map that will be hard I tell you that will be really hard because that guy is running for his life basically and while we did a great defeat we missed the really important thing and that is taking out the enemy army That means we'll have to fight that guy again. And he will get away with just a hundred life points, but he will get away. Because we're unable to kill him. Sigma calls! Well, at least that worked. Sigma! I don't think we can catch anyone here. We can try, however. Yeah. That guy is simply... is simply too slow. Carl Franz is simply too slow. Gunners. What do you beat? Halberdiers! Yeah, that's a problem. The speed is actually a problem. Well, they're tired as well. 
So let's speed up things. Yeah, we'll be never be we'll never beat them in time. So the enemy will have another group of spearmen that we didn't kill. But we are and didn't lose many. So it's not that bad. Oh look at this, Carl Franz is actually getting his fair share of kills. Come on. Get him, get him, you're Carl Franz. Get him, Franzi, get him, get him, get him. He's the only one alive. No, actually he's not. Strange enough, he's not. Okay. We lost 18. They lost everyone except one guy. Payment is okay. We didn't have a lot of losses. P Talisman of protection, what is that? Ward, ward save. Okay. That can even help against cannonballs. We don't need replenishment because we've no lost no one. So we can do this. Pick up the pace! And we've got a hunter. And a little it item. is important to act quickly if you have any intention of securing lasting authority over the Empire. So, the people must learn that open descent cannot be tolerated. I will stop it here and we'll see each other next time with the next tips and tricks and the Empire. See you then. Bye.